now that you've crawled through the darkness, do you finally see the light? Mick Foley. Sometimes, but other times I'm just known as mankind. What are you doing here? If there is anyone who understands the journey you're on, it's good old Mick and all his faces. I'm like your fairy godfather. My fairy godfather? You got that right. I've done everything there is to do in WWE. Dude Love was a superstar. Cactus Jack was the most brutal man on earth. And mankind? Mankind ate the sins for all the world. Believe me, I know. You're one of my heroes. Great. I'm here to trip the light fantastic down memory lane and give you the opportunity to try something unique via mix special pixie dust. Besides, after what you've just been through, I'm guessing you'd like someone around who knows a little something about what you experienced. Doesn't seem like there's too many of us, that's for sure. You were taking souls, but what mankind would take was punishment. I lived for it. The more abuse there was, the stronger I became. How much could you take, Cap? I could take all of it. Then you need to test your limits. In the match that made mankind legendary, hell in a cell. And I've got just the opponent and a little bit of my pixie dust to make it feel extra special. <sighs> I don't know if I want to spend any more time slogging around in the dark. I think I might be ready to move on. I understand. You spend that long crawling around in the shadows, it's hard for your eyes to adjust to the light. If you change your mind, I'll be around. Just remember, I'm easily distracted. If you move on to something else, I may have an entirely different surprise for you. Cap, you're back. You ready to follow up your brush with the supernatural to see how much punishment you can take in hell in a cell? <laughs> After what I've been through for the past few months, I think I'm going to focus more on dealing punishment out than taking it. Maybe later. Take your time. I'm working on a new bestseller. Cap, you're back. You ready to follow up your brush with the supernatural to see how much punishment you can take in hell in a cell? If I have any limits, I haven't met them yet. I'm ready to go. Then let's go to hell. The following is a Hell in a Cell match. Making her way to the ring from West Hollywood, California, the Queen, Rebecca Santana. From Redondo Beach, California, the ninth wonder of the world, China!
in a cell. The most nefarious, unforgiving structure in WWE, and one that transformed my career forever. Your supernatural powers may have been otherworldly, but let's take it down to earth as we find out how you'd fare against the ninth wonder of the world. And if you really want to pay tribute to my pal, Mankind, you'll know sometimes a fall can push you even higher. Have a nice day.
What are you looking at? What's with the attitude? Screw you. Attitude is what makes me. That and my brutality in the ring. Hmm. Brutality. Did I stutter? Can you show me how to harness brutality in the ring? You? <laughs> you don't understand what you're talking about. I had some pretty wild matches before coming to WWE. I know more about it than you think. Brutality is about more than just being powerful and fierce in the ring. It's making people fear you and what you're doing next. It's being unexpected. It's bringing the chaos without restraint. Interesting. Thanks for the explanation. That's that? Wow. Glad I wasted my time talking to you. Fascinating. You again? You here to waste my time? Sorry, never mind. Ugh, pathetic. You again? You here to waste my time? Yep, me again. I want your help. I want to harness my brutality. I'm not some pathetic guidance counselor, but I'll help you help yourself. Bring some chaos. Somewhere unexpected. Hmm. Maybe a different brand then. Sure. Show up unannounced and decimate some opponents just for the hell of it. That's a pretty solid calling card. But I'm not going to hold your hand. Who are you going to actually take out? Feeling like Zaya Lee and Indy Hartwell could use some chaos. Just don't play nice when you get there. Kind of defeats the purpose. We are about to see a martial arts masterpiece, both on the ramp and in the ring. Zia Lee is a woman who claims to be motivated to bring justice to WWE. If you are a source of evil, Zia Lee will have no problem hunting you down. Or is Zia Lee herself the evil source? How about that, Saxton? <laughs> One of the best strikers in the entire women's division. Always imaginative and always impressive. Hey, Indy uh, once held the NXT Women's Tag Team titles. Yeah, Indy's reached the main event level of NXT, and I believe she can do so elsewhere. Byron, she's in amazing shape. She has great in-ring IQ for her age. That's all true, Michael, but history has shown that Indy Hartwell has some bad taste when it comes to husbands. Go ahead, Byron, shoot your shot.
Wait, what is she doing out here? I hate to say it, but this is a flagrant disregard for the rules. Cap is being a real jerk here, inserting herself into this match. <gasps> a jerk? Oh my, Saxton, you must be upset. Get off the fainting couch and get with Cap. This is great. We're about to find out if this new attitude is more than skin deep. We still don't know why the captain decided to insert herself into this match, but the WWE Universe is excited to see her. It certainly makes the match more interesting. Well, this move is somewhat unexpected from the cap. We'll have to see if it's a one-time thing or a sign of a new attitude. Elbow right to the nose. Short clothesline hits its mark. She's getting something from under the ring. Guess she was looking for her old pal named Kendo under there. Ooh, timely counter by Lee. Effective cover, cover. And the count's broken, keeping the match alive. It's not over yet. Series of elbows looking to create separation. She does so. I have a feeling she has bad intentions for that chair. Bulldog. Dodges out of the way. Excessive move is putting their opponent in a dicey situation. Ah, oh, side coming. Turnbuckles got her where she wants her. She turns it right around with a counter. Absolutely no telling what's underneath the ring tonight. Finds a counter for Lee. So take things into the ring. She's able to get out of the way. Snap mail right into the circle. And she breaks free just in time. Oh, man. Oh, Kendo stick right to the head. Oh. Oh. Indy keeps her at bay. Plenty of hits coming her way now. Into the ring now. Trying to impale them with that chair. One wicked attack after another. I don't care who you are. You can't take consecutive attacks like that without it affecting you. And things are just going from bed. She could pin her opponent right here. That could have been it right there. Monster set up in the corner. Springboard, springboard, kicked all the way through the rope to the floor. 
she will wisely return to the ring now. Oh, boy, come on, not the chair. Oh, man, did you hear the snap of the kendo stick? Holy, meet the barricade. Uh-oh. Face first. Things taking a turn for her now. And Indy Hartwell channeling that killer instinct of hers. Sent into the corner. Heavy forearm rocks their opponent. Looking to bring them back in the hard way. That was unique. Uh-oh. Springboard coup de grace. And into the count. Two. Ah, oh, stops the legs. Whoa, just floating through the air. Beautiful elbows. And a spinning back kick, too. Good timing with that reversal. Boom! Tilt a world face buster. She's looking for the win. And the count's broken, keeping the match alive. Harwell left an opening. Jawbreaker. Does that finish Indy off? Makes the cover. And a big victory here tonight. Standing tall above the two other hungry competitors who are in this match. Triple threat matches tend to live up to the hype, and this one was no different, you guys. Okay, so you can at least pretend to have what it takes. Although maybe it was a one-off. What's wrong with pretending? Fake it till you make it, right? Why are you even here? I like watching people flounder. It's fun. And you're wrong. Everyone can see right through you. The locker room, the WWE universe. I'm not convinced. Who hurt you? What? No, seriously? Who hurt you? Chaos is one thing, but my brutality has a message. Every time I step into the ring, I'm making a statement to the world that there are no limits to what I'll do to get what I want. So next time you step in the ring, consider what you're fighting for. What makes you angry enough to go all the way? Everyone else be damned and who you're going after to make your point. Who I'm going after? For instance, do you want to challenge the toughest of the tough or pick someone who may be very talented but is also more innocent? That's what I'm talking about. Targeted brutality. I'm making a statement. No excuses for those who try to follow the rules. I'm demanding a match with Roxanne Perez. 
Demanding. I like it. And work on your gear. If you're going to be associated with me, you'd better look the part. So, or associated now? Shut up. It's Cap with a new outfit to go with her new attitude. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring from West Hollywood, California. The Queen, Rebecca Santana. We've seen changes in attitude before, but this is wild, Corey. You're not kidding. I don't know where Cap's been hiding this, but I love it. If she fights like she looks, her opponent's going to be spitting out teeth. to see if Cap's new threads match who she really is. A great young talent with an extremely bright future. And from Laredo, Texas, Roxanne Perez! Before she turned 21 years old, she had already won the first ever NXT Women's Breakout Tournament and the NXT Women's Tag Team Titles. And she has a bright, bright future. Perez has already been a history maker in NXT, but the future looks even brighter. You cannot deny that Perez has lived up to the hype and will surely continue to do so. The captain has been a force to be reckoned with as of late. I like it, Cole. She's mean, she's focused, and she doesn't care who's in her way. Well, she should care. She's across the ring from one of the baddest competitors in the WWE. Placing them into the corner. Oh, my! Wild springboard attack. Impact in the corner. She's got to be careful here. The referee will count her out. Oh my goodness! Oh, gets put into the barricade! Perez telling her opponent to bring it. Springboard! Shooting star to the floor! It's like a heat-seeking missile coming at you. And the explosion occurring ringside. Into the barricade. It's the sudden stop at the barricade. And she slides her back to the mat. What a cross body. 
Anything Perez is trying is being suppressed. Roxanne's having trouble assessing the situation. to the floor. And Roxanne had it scouted. Boom. And she gets herself out of a precarious position. A neck breaker. Gets tossed into the ring. Oh, man. Oh, boy. That's a determined stare that's come across her face. <laughs> Roxanne Perez just all fired up, dropping her opponent. And nice clothesline delivered by Perez. The fatigue is setting in for her. And will this be it? enough energy for the simple kick out. Oh, put down face first. Looks like Roxanne has the inside track now. Roxanne has every... Oh, wait a second. Maybe not. Roll up. She was close to the end there. If she keeps the pressure on, the next one might do it. Elevated knee drop. She shoots up the top rope. Dangerous thinking. Taking flight. Oh. Ah, look at this. Walking to neutralize that arm. High cross body. That's another focused attack to her torso area. Drops an elbow. Elbow drop. Roxanne is being overwhelmed. And Perez is seeking salvation. Ooh, she just... Here we go. It's popping off. Ooh. So much pride. So much resiliency on display. Both superstars showing great awareness of their opponent's repertoire. It looks like we've got ourselves a brawl here. Jump off the floor! Look out for Big time risk pays off! The daredevil in you comes out when you take risks like that. Lifts them up, then drops them down. Boom! Into a DDT. Perez looks out of it. She sent back in under the ropes. Going for the pin on Roxanne. Wait! What's she doing? Looks like Cap decided she still had a point to make in this match. To the corner now. This is brutal. I guess that was the three count she really wanted. I know we've been seeing a different side of her lately, but I can't believe she would go this far. And she's not done yet. Seems like she's looking for a weapon. But she already had this match won. A steel chair? What's gotten into her? Hey, look out. A show of force for sure, but not like this. Is she having second thoughts, maybe? Looks like it. Nope, never mind. Oh. Well, this match is over, but not the way we expected. Roxanne may be the winner, but she's not the one walking out of here having made a statement. But why? I have a feeling we'll be hearing more from her soon, Saxton. I hope so, because I don't get it.
Lately, I've been doing some thinking about the pecking order around here, in the locker room, and in the precious WWE universe. It's no secret that I haven't been the model WWE superstar the past couple of weeks. I haven't smiled, posed for the fans, or put up with any of the nonsense the suits around here are trying to get us to do. No, because something's felt off. And earlier tonight, when I had Roxanne Perez in my hands and slammed her head again and again and again into that turnbuckle, I finally realized what's been making me so angry. Every time I go to the ring, I'm asked to put my body on the line and pledge allegiance to WWE management and a WWE machine that couldn't care less about me. To a board guided by profit and not people who ask everything of us and then discard us like used candy wrappers when we don't act like they're chimpanzees and obey their every passing whim. Like I said, I've been doing some thinking. And I'm not only done following blindly, I'm gonna do everything in my power to tear apart the system by destroying every superstar on the roster who gets in my way! That was some performance. You were right. And I meant what I said. The more I gave into my anger in the ring, the more I pushed away the excuses I was making for the people in charge around here. Sure. Whatever. I still don't believe you. <laughs> Are you trying to get on my bad side? If you even have one. I'm just not terribly impressed. You may have chosen your opponents and found your anger, but so far, they've all been random. You know what they say, the best tasting livestock are the ones that you've named. I'm not taking this from you, Rhea. I don't care what you think. But you want to see brutality? Come with me to NXT. Because you know what? Despite what you say, you're here talking to me again. I think you want in. Whatever. We'll see how you do at NXT.